Father God, we come at this hour, Lord, asking thy permission, Master, to preach your word with power from on high and with great understanding. Speak, O oh God, for our certain listen. Lead, and I sure will be. Father God, I'm asking in the precious name of Jesus that you would save somebody today as only you can. And give us a triple dose of your Holy Ghost. Keep your eye protection upon us, your loving arms around us, and your Holy Spirit within us. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Brothers and sisters, there's a word from the Lord that I want to share with you that will bless you if you try it. All right. Just like medicine. Mm -hmm. You're not going to take your medicine while you get a prescription fee. That don't make sense. My meds are high. Found in the book of Proverbs. In the book of Proverbs. And while you're looking at it, I'm going to go to that fourth chapter. But I want to raise a question before I get there. And only you can answer this question. Is there anything that you need? Anything. Think about it. Is there anything that you want? Need or want? I want you to think about that because I'm going to show you how to get anything that you need or want. I'm going to show you how to do it. But I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to have to listen carefully because the devil don't want you to learn this. Satan comes quickly and take it away. Proverbs 4, verse 20. Proverbs 4, verse 20. You ready? You still look and say, hold on. Sound like we read. 4 and 20. Verse 20. My child, pay attention to my word. Listen closely to what I say. My child, pay attention to my word. Listen closely to what I say. 21. Don't ever forget my words. Keep them always in your heart. Not in your head, in your heart. Keep my words in your heart. 22. They are the key to life for those who find them. They bring help to the whole body. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Be careful what you think. What's on your mind? Be careful what you think. Why? Because your thoughts can ruin your life. Right. 24. Don't Use your mouth to tell lies. <laughs> Don't use your mouth to tell lies. Don't even say things that are not true. What you say? Watch your watch mouth. <laughs> you hear me? 
Did you get that? I want you to think about that because, see, the thing it is, Satan don't want you to know what I'm going to do. He says, pay attention to my words, pay close attention. Get them in your heart. Okay? And if you get them in your heart, they're going to be helped to the whole body. Okay? Be careful what you think to what's on your mind. Hmm? Because whatever's on your mind can ruin your life. And whatever you do, don't use your mouth to tell a lie. Huh? Don't even say things enough. Somebody say, ouch. 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 I stepped all over yes. your tongue. Yeah. Hang this thought on the clothesline of your mind. I want you to think about what I'm about to say. The word of God, we must receive it, believe it, and act on it. The word of God, we must receive it, believe it, and act on it. All right. Okay? When we talk about the word of God, we often refer to the Bible. This is true. <clears throat> but we must understand that the word is Jesus himself. The word is Jesus himself. Hello? Y'all look like y'all don't read that. I'm going to prove it in a minute. The word is Jesus himself. God, our heavenly father, that's the word also. And Christ, the anointing power of God. Right, you have inside of you Jesus because He came to show us how to do it. All right, okay. You have inside of you the anointing power of God inside of you, okay. So for too often, we find ourselves thinking too small because we put limits on limits on God. You can't put limits on God. There is no limit to God. There is no limit to God. So we're going to what? Raise our thinking. Yeah. Raise our thinking. Okay? There was a cheer once when my, my daughter and them were young. They had a with the chili. They say you elevate your mind and get yourself together. <laughs> That's what we got to do. Yeah. Elevate our mind and get ourselves together. Amen? Yes, sir. Our vision is too narrow and we start living day by day hoping to get by. That's not God's basic way that he wants us to live. God's plan and desire for us to have life and have it more abundantly. I don't care what the circumstances may be. I don't care what problem may be. You have an opportunity to straighten out everything. You don't have to worry about it because you have everything that it takes. God will give you the power keys for living a supernatural life. God will give it to you. The power keys so that you can live a supernatural life. A spirit filled life. Jesus said I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. If that be the case, what are we waiting on? Yeah. You say, well, I got all I need. That's good. Give it away. Amen. So you can get some more. Come on. Right. Hello? There's nothing wrong with having things, but just don't let things have you. Yes. Amen? Yes, sir. Romans 10 and 8 says this. Then 
this is what the scriptures say. The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we'll tell you about. The word. The word of God is powerful. Verse 9. If you say with your mouth, listen to this very carefully. If you say with your mouth, I'm in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 8 and 9. If you say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. And if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you are saved. Amen. Amen. How did you get saved? I just told you. <laughs> if you say with your mouth and believe in your heart, huh? That God raised Jesus from the dead, you're saved. You believe that? Yes. Do you really believe that? Yes. Say amen. amen. I'm saved. I'm saved. So what's the difference? If you need anything, you can get it the same way. Amen. If you open your mouth and get saved, you can open your mouth and get whatever else you need. I'm going to show it to you. Verse 10. We believe with our heart and so we are made right with God and we say with our mouth that we believe and so we are saved. Yeah. Now, if you can open your mouth and say that you believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and be saved, what else do you need? All, right. All you have to do is think about it. what else do you need? Right. Right. What else do you want? Right. Right. I'm going to show you how to get it. We must say and believe the word of God. Why? Because Matthew 4, 4 says it like this. Jesus answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word proceeding from the mouth of God. Hello? Amen. So, <laughs> all you have to do is just think about it. How often do I eat to feed this mortal body? All right, all right. Come on, my Think about it. Talk about it. Yeah. Talk about it. How many meals a day do I eat to feed this chick? This earth suit. That's all this is. Y'all didn't know that. Y'all do. Y'all do know this is just earth suit. Uh, huh? If we was on the road, you need a moonwalking suit. We need deep sea fish, we can go down and get us a diving suit. But while we on earth, this is an earth suit. Huh? And on in this earth suit, this is the exterior of you. This is not you. This is only the earth suit that housed the real you. Hello? Yes. And we work with this. No. Yep. Yes, no, we work with this. Yes, I, I, I get up on Sunday morning at 5 o'clock to get this ready. Yeah. Hello? Uh, but I spend my some devotion time in there and all of that too. Why you get up so early? I, I'm an early morning person. I love the morning. But if I can get up and get this earth suit ready, all right. hello, all right. and feed this earth suit, but what about my spirit? Yes. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah, my wife could be great breakfast this morning. I'm going to tell you what it was. It was good. <laughs> oh, you want to know? Ask me. She did. <laughs> but what I'm trying to get you to see is yeah. I spent some time feeding my 
my spirit also. All right, all right, yes. I thought about my spirit first before I went to the kitchen. I was sitting in the chair with my book, feeding my spirit. Because my spirit is renewed daily. Every day, every morning, your spirit is renewed. Right. So the Bible says, I cannot just eat. Hello? And feed the body. Yeah. But I got to feed the spirit. Why? Because heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. So we're going to need some work. Amen? We're going to need some work. 1 John 5, 14 says this. Now this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask, All right. All right. if we ask anything according to his will, stop right there, because see, a lot of times people want to push up over on you with that. He don't know God's will. The word is his will. All right. Open it up and read it. The word is the will. Amen. Yeah. And whatever you want is in the word. I don't care what it is. It's in the word. Amen. So it says the confidence that we have and we ask anything, God's going to do it for us. But you gotta open your mouth and ask for it. Yeah. You can God like the same cup. No. I'm telling you the truth. And it sounds like I'm talking about a Santa Claus, but that's not what it is. You know what it's Dr. City tell you that? Satan. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah, that's one of them, one of them prosperity preachers. Well, Jesus was not poor. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> Excuse me. He had a treasure. Did he not? So if he had a treasure, he had to have some. But see, he really didn't need that. Because when he was trying to pay the taxes, you know what he said? Peter, go down to the river, get out of the get the first fish you get, take some money out, and pay my taxes and pay your tax. Leave some, leave some in there, because little Harris going to need some after a while. You're going to go to the river? Same basic principle. Same basic principle. See, what we try to do, we try to bring it in on principles. The same way that they had enough money out of the fish's mouth to pay their taxes, God's got a way for you. All right. yes. The problem is, we don't know how to go out. But I'm going to show you. Verse 15. And if we know that God hears us, did you hear me? Yes. If we know that God hears, he said, whatever you ask, did you not say that? Yep. According to my will, God hears us. Yep. And if we know that God hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of God. Amen. In other words, whatever you ask God for, well, he's going to give it to you. Amen. Hello? You say, yeah, I don't know about all that. That's called doubt. And you can't get nothing down. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. The gospel that we preach, if it is hidden, it is hidden only to those who are lost. We good? You hear that? But a while ago, you told me you were saved. So you're not lost, right? Here's what happens. The devil who rules this world has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. They cannot see the light of the gospel, the good news about the glory of Christ, who is exactly like God. Christ is not Jesus' last name. Christ is the anointing power of God that's on the inside of you. All right. I'm going to leave you alone, dog. I'm going to go ahead and go. God is telling us to allow his word, which is the living thing. It's a living thing. We must make the word alive within our spirit of our heart. It's the word. Amen? Always bear in mind, 
that we must spend time with God in his word Amen. through meditation, 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 meditation. Meditating will bring the word alive. That's what meditation will do. You know, if you listen to something long enough, you'll know the words. Just like y'all have rehearsal, everything, y'all, you teach them the words, right? You teach them the words, y'all go over and over. It's called time rehearsal. That's that's how you learn the Bible. Rehearsal, rehearsal, rehearsal. You cannot open the Bible once a week for an hour and get the blessings. You can't do it. I'm sorry. It, it don't work like that. Because you don't know where to go get it. I can't read that thing. Well, just put it on your bed, on your pillow. <laughs> I'm serious. Yes, sir. And we cut that short. How do you think our forefathers, who could not read and who would have been hung if they were caught with the Bible, they had to hide the word? They slept with the word. And the word of God will speak to you, even though you can't read. I don't believe it. I told you I know that was number down. God's word will always be here. So we must learn to fall in love with God's word. Okay? We must start putting God's word first place in our lives. God is putting all the pieces together for our lives. He has a plan for our lives, so we must go by his plan. We must move from the natural to the supernatural, because we are God's born again believing children. Amen? And when you move to the supernatural, things will start happening in your life. We must let the word of God, not let the word of God depart out of our hearts. We've got to get it deep into our hearts. God wants the word into our hearts for a reason. You know what the reason is? I'm going to give it to you. Here's why. Isaiah 51, 16. This is why he wants to give you his word. I have put my words in your mouth. I have covered you with the shadows of my hand. That I, this is God, may plant the heavens, lay the foundation of the earth, and say to Zion, you are my people. Yeah. God wants his word in us so that he can plant the heavens. Let me help you here. You're not doing the work. You're not doing the work. You, you have to say it and believe it. Amen? Yeah. Because 1 Corinthians 2 9 says it like this. As it is written, eyes has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man the things which God has said again. Prepared. Prepared. It means it's already written. It's already written. It's prepared for those who love. Do you love the Lord? Yeah. Yeah. It is already waiting on you. Amen. Amen. Exodus 23, 25 says this. You shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. And God will take the sickness away from the midst of you. Exodus 23, 25. Write it down. When you start feeling bad, take this scripture and say, Lord, you said in your word yeah. that you would take the sickness out of the midst of us. Yes, when this church start praying prayers like that, we don't have no sickness. Why are we having sickness? You ask me when you get that way, you go. <laughs> Hello? You go. You go. Are you going back? <laughs> yeah, okay. Wherever you go, you're going to tell you. All you got to do is that. God is the maker of everything. Yes. Okay? Now listen close. God is the maker of everything. God's word is the carrier of everything. Okay? And the Holy Spirit manifests everything. See what I'm saying? Okay. If it's already waiting, it's up here. And it's in your catalog. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got it at Amazon. 
<laughs> Hello? Now see, I'm a lot older, y'all. We used to have a Sears catalog. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 go on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. And if you was poor like I was, all you could do was look at the page. And wish. <laughs> see what I'm saying? But when I found out that God, okay, is the originator, the creator of everything. The word is the carrier of everything. And the Holy Spirit will bring all things. Hello? So, when we see that and understand that, all we have to do is put it in the basic principle. Because Ephesians 1, 3 says this, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. In so it's in the book, but you got to find out where it is in the book. A.T. got a, a book that called The Promises. He didn't show it to you. How many of y'all got the book called The Promises? Y'all go get you one if you don't have one. It's called Amen. the promise. Amen. See, what it will do, it'll give you a shortcut to your blessing. Yes. There you go. See what I'm saying? It'll give you a shortcut to your blessing. Because yep. you go over there and say, well, I need yes. healing. So you see it right here, heal. Then you go with the, then you start talking to God. When you get God's attention, is when you put God in your fight. Amen. Say, God, you say it in your word. Yes. Hello? Put him on the spot. And if you don't do it, then what? Well, something happens between him delivering and your belief. There you go. There you go. That's, right. That's it. Something happened between, right in between that. Something went down. Amen? Because he said, I've given you every spiritual blessing. Now, Psalm 24 1 says, The earth belongs to the Lord, and the fullness of the world and those who dwell within it. Okay? So, everything belongs to God. Stop trying to take ownership of what you don't know. Okay. It's my car. It's not your car. <laughs> Even if it's paid for, still not yours. Mine knows I got it. Yeah. Miss a note. <laughs> Hello? See what I'm saying? Everything belongs to God. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to God. There's a whole lot of crying here, y'all. Yes, belong to God. Amen. The gold and the silver belong to God. Amen. And gold and silver is better than dollars. Gold and silver is better than dollars. I take a gold bar any day. Any day. Amen. Amen. We must understand it takes faith to access everything that God has for us. God and Jesus are the same. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three identities but the same. Okay? Now, Luke 8, 11 says, Now the parable is this. The seed is the word. The seed is the word. If the seed is the word, what do you do with a seed? Amen. You plant it. And if you plant the seed into the soil of your heart, what you plant will come up. Amen. Don't plant candles looking for grapefruits. <laughs> Make no sense. Okay? Because Mark 4 and 14 says this, the soul sows the word. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying my best to sow the word into you right now. The soil sows the word, but I've got to get it from here to here. Okay? So it means here to here. Why do I have to get it so deep? 15 kids. And these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown. When they hear, the devil comes quickly and take away the word which was sown in their heart. If you have to get it deep into your heart, if you don't, the devil won't take it away from you. Because the devil don't want you to have it. Amen? Amen. 
So we must understand that God is trying his best to get us to use biblical principles to receive what God has for us. God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. This mortal body, this earth suit, does not belong to us. It's going back to the dirt from which it came. And we spend a lot of time working on this person. We dress it up, we fix it up, we exercise it, we carry it away. We do everything to the earth soon. But very little to the spirit. Amen? So, God wants us to step up now to spiritual procedures and go along this spiritual journey and start doing things God's way. God's way will work if you work. In the beginning was the word. Let's say that again. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. Okay? And the word was with God. Okay? And the word was God. So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Are we good? Amen? Verse 2. He was the word. In the beginning, with God. Here's your key right here. All things were made through him. Who is the him? The word. The word. Nothing was made without the word. Now, verse 4. In him, the word, was light, and the light was the light of man. If you have the word, hello, you have God the Father, you have Jesus, his only begotten son, and you have the Holy Spirit. And you have that. If you got the word, you got God. Isn't that great? So all we have to do is understand what he is saying. Because John 14, 10 says this. Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The word that I speak to you, it don't come from me. But the Father who dwells in me, hello, he's doing the work. So your part is the what? Speak it, no, receive it, believe it, and act on it. Act on it says say it, amen? Because you have everything that Jesus had. John 14, 26 says, the help the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring everything to your remembrance. All things that I say is all in the book. God is the originator. Hello. The book is the carrier and the Holy Spirit is the manifestation of it. So all you have to do is get in the word. First John 2, 27 says, Christ gave you a special gift. That is the, that is the gift the same that he had, which is the anointing power of God. And you don't need anyone to teach you. Amen? Amen. So, we must understand, because Romans 8 and 14 says, For as many that are led by the Spirit, okay, these are the children of God. So you have to be led by the Spirit. God is a Spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in truth. Amen? They cried out, and the Lord heard them in a time of trouble. And he saved them and healed their diseases. Amen. Psalms 107 verse 19. And he sent his word and healed them from all and delivered them. Amen. So when you're looking for healing, it's in the word. Right. Everything you need is in the word. Jesus answered and said to them, these are my, my mother and my brother, but those who hear the word and do be doers of the word are the ones that I'm looking forward to. We must understand your word has been hidden from us, but God has revealed it to us. Jesus came. When Adam failed, he fell from discerning from God and started learning from the devil. And we've been learning ever since. Amen? What is the first thing the devil talked about? Tell Adam what to do. Hello? He was a liar. That's what the first thing he learned how to do. Uh, so we have to understand it's not your fault, but you got to get some word to erase some of that stuff. 
we must understand the word is the fountain of our joy. The word is bread on our table. The word is the song in the midnight hour. The word is our comforter, our shelter, our rock, the sheep that keep us the shepherd that keeps the sheep going. The word answers all of our questions, gives us solutions to our problems, and is objective to everything we do. Amen. You got to have some word. The word is our way out of no way. The word is true, pure, real love. The word is just, holy, peace, hope, grace, and victory. We need some word. Is there a word from the Lord? The most of us understand that we see that the word, children, was already here. But they took our word. And when they took our word, they lied on our word. They spit on the word. They made fun of the word. They beat the word. They disfigured the word. But the word didn't stop flowing. Amen? The word kept rolling and rolling and rolling. The word drug a whole a royal cross up the doctor's mountain. The word, the word, the word. They hung the word on an old rugged cross. They stretched the word wide. They hung him high. The word, the word, they pierced him in his side. Nothing but the word. When they pierced him in his side, but I stopped by to take her. He stopped long enough when he saw us. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They put the word in a fiery tomb. And in that fiery tomb, they put that word. And when they did, children, right early that appointed morning, the third day I got up. Got up because the grave couldn't hold him and death couldn't claim him. The word got up and we still got the word. Is there a word from the Lord? I tell you, church, there is a word. And I believe the word. Is it anybody's here? And I believe that word. I don't know what you need, but I got some word to tell you. Is the word everything will be all right? Is it anybody's here? Yeah. Yeah. You need some work. You need some work. See, if you work for a five dollars, I get more money. You don't need no more money. You need work. Because the word says, I'm gonna give you the wisdom to get well. Hello? You don't know what to do with it. When you get it, what you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it? Huh? Stack it up. You like they ball games. Raise up at your boot. Sit on sit no bones of money. He didn't know what to do with it. Lost his mind. But to get it through the work. You can't work that hard. You can fool yourself. Yeah. Amen. You have a paycheck to do this with and money to do that with. And don't go mother do that yet. But what's gonna happen when they disqualify the money? Give me wisdom. Because see, if you get stuck on money and they disqualify money, you'll jump off a tall building and kill yourself. But the word says, I can speak it. Into existence. I don't believe that. That's called doubt. That's why you can't do it. There's no way under the sun that you can work godly principles with doubt. It won't work. But the word of God is the carrier of everything you need. If God is the creator, the word is the carrier. Yes, sir. And the Holy Spirit will manifest it. It may come to you. Amen? Amen. Bear it in mind. Get it in your heart. And get rid of that stupidity that's in your head. Come out. But God can't do that. Is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? Give it to Him. Stop worrying about it. You come to the altar. You lay it on all of them. You pick it up, throw it on the shoulder, carry it on back with you. Don't do that. If you're here today and you believe the word of God, you have a special place. A special place in God's heart. God loves you in spite of. Why is no 
você. 